Thanks for choosing our mold for your pillar candles. This short video will show you how to use this mold to make fantastic pillar candles, but also how to take care of it to keep it in top shape. This pillar candle mold is made from high quality transparent polycarbonate plastic and is heat resistant up to 120 degrees centigrade. It's great for making fragranced or unfragranced pillar candles. In addition to your mold, you'll need a few items to make your pillar candles. First, pick your wax. For best results, we would recommend using high performance melt blend wax. Although HPM is marketed as a blend for making wax melts, it works beautifully in pillar candles and also has excellent demolding properties. You may also want to use a fragrance in your pillar candle. When looking for that perfect scent, make sure to pick an oil that has been optimized for candle making. Pillar candles are typically made using raw wick, but we have a better way that will make sure your wick is centered and straight throughout the candle. For this you will need some blue tack or similar reusable putty-like pressure sensitive adhesive to seal the wick hole and align the centering tool. A wick rod of 2.5mm diameter. This can be made from a metal rod or welding rod from any DIY store. A wick rod centering tool, which you can make from a lolly stick by piercing a 2.5mm diameter hole in its center. A pre-waxed wick of appropriate size and length. We recommend LX8 to 12 wicks. First, let's prepare your pillar mold. Start by inserting the wick rod into a wick hole and seal it at the base of the pillar mold with blue tack. Then melt your wax to the recommended temperature. If you're using a candle shack wax, you can find usage recommendations on this product page. For example, if using HPM, melt it at 75 degrees centigrade. Then add your fragrance at a recommended temperature and stir it around for one minute until the mixture is homogenous. When your fragrance wax reaches its pouring temperature, slowly pour it into your mold to your desired height. Then use your wick rod centering tool to keep the rod nice and centered. Leave your wax to solidify and when it has fully set, usually after around 2.5 hours, remove the wick centering tool and top up your candle to fill any dip that may have formed. When the candle has fully set, around 5 hours after initial pour, carefully remove the wicking rod and pop the candle out of the mold. Then thread the pre-waxed wick through the hole and push the sustainer into the base of the candle. Melt the bottom of the candle in a hot baking tray to give a flat and level base. Finally, allow the candle to cure for 48 hours and trim the wick to 5mm before lighting your candle. Once you get comfortable using your mold, don't hesitate to experiment and tinker with your recipe to make it your own. Try different fragrances, add bold dyes, dip them in coloured wax, the sky's the limit. You can even decorate your candles with candle pens to create unique and eye-catching designs. Your candles should demold cleanly and leave very little wax residue, so the mold can usually be refilled with no cleaning between fills. However, if you do want to clean your mold, use a soft sponge and washing up liquid, then rinse with water and dry it with a microfiber cloth. Avoid using abrasive sponge pads as the mold can be scratched very easily. 